you know, ChatGPT was awesome because it allowed a human to talk to a computer. AutoGPT was even more awesome because now you can specify a few tasks and the AI agent will do the tasks by itself. But today what I have is even more better. We just specify a task for it and we create two agents, two independent AI agents, and they talk with each other and harmoniously create an output for you, which matches the goal of your desired tasks. So we look into the code. So let's get started. I'm going to go to this link, uh, which I have shared in the description section. This talks about Camel role playing autonomous cooperative agents. Now, what we are going to do is that it has the working case. So we are going to copy each of these codes here to VS code. So I have done the task for you. So I have copied, I've created a new file called camel.py and I've copied everything from that location, from this location. So let's see. Uh, so the first is uh, we import the Langchain related modules. So from typing, we import list from Langchain chats prompts. We import this message prompts. Langchain schema, we import this type of messages, AI message, human message, um, system message. If you want to really learn more about uh, the type of prompt that is used, you can go to the Langchain documentation. But I will also try to create a video uh, for you know explaining every uh, every module that is available in Langchain because this is a uh, quite an easy uh, module in, in terms of you know six uh, things uh, in in terms of six modules the Langchain uh, entire setup has been explained of course it is developing but uh, it is an easy infrastructure uh, to understand now we define a camel uh, agent helper class here next we specify the open api key so i've just used my api key here so we just use this api key from open api i think you should know how to get the open api so uh, it's open api key open api key and then you go to api keys and just create a new api key and just copy paste that next uh, is the roles the assistant role is that it's the role of a python programmer and the user role is the role of the stock trader so here the task the task here is to develop a trading bot for the stock market and the word limit uh, for the brainstorming and specified task is 50. So it has created a task specific agent for brainstorming and uh, for the brainstorming it has used this. Uh, here uh, is the task that the assistant will help the user to complete. Please make it more specific, be creative and imaginative. Please reply to the specific task in word limit. So we give a, when you give a task here and develop a trading bot for the stock market, it reassigns uh, the task. You know, it makes it more specific I mean, and creative and imaginative and it gives so it forms a new goal so then the assistant and the user works on achieving that particular goal not this uh, simple goal because this is a very high high level goal so it breaks down into pieces a, a very low level goal and then it goes step by step next is uh, create inception prompts for ai assistant so this is what the assistant has in its mind i'm just i'm going to read a few lines so you must write a specific solution that appropriately completes the request instructions you must decline an instruction honestly if you cannot perform the instructions due to physical or moral legal reasons and your capability and explain the reasons so this is the inside mind of the assistant the solution uh, should be like this and your solution should be specific and provide preferable implementations and examples for task solving next uh, the inception the user inception or prompt of the user the user also has a, a few guidelines to follow so the user has to give the inst instructions uh, here and additional inputs if required and it also i must write a response that appropriately completes the requested instructions so these are the instructions for the uh, user and at the end when the user is happy so keep giving instructions and necessary inputs until you think the task is completed here uh, a single word camel task done when it says camel task done the task is completed now here next section we get the create a helper to get system messages to ai assistant next create assistant ai agent and ai user agent then uh, we start the um, role playing session here so this is the code but if you want to create an app for that a google app for that uh, such as this we need to code a few lines and the code for that uh, i've already uh, you know done the code for that so i'm just going to run through the code for that so this is the same code that was available there now i have added a few of the things so first is the this is the working uh, open api key and then we added this import uh, streamlit as st so streamlit is an open source python library that makes it easy to create beautiful custom webs we put an st title app number one using langchain so we want to use red color so we give colon red and in the within the brackets we give 
uh, write the length chain. So this is the output that you get here. Next is header role playing. When you give an undersign uh, an underscore on both sides of the word, that is an italic word. And for the blue color here, so we give semicolon blue and agents here. Next we uh, this variable we assigned it an input text. So text input enter the assistant role name. So whatever assistant role name you enter here, that will be saved in this assistant variable. Now if assistant variable is present, we save it into assistant role name. Earlier uh, in the raw code, we have seen that the name was fixed because uh, you know they were just running for one solution. So the assistant role name was fixed as a Python programmer. User role name was also fixed, talk trader. Task was also fixed, but we have here designed it, uh, modified the code to uh, for, for the web app. So assistant is the enter the assistant role name uh, for the inputs and the enter the user role name here enter the user role name so that will be saved in the role variable and the role variable is assigned to this user role name variable oh, please uh, next is the uh, this task is you know is st st is actually streamlit so st text input enter the description of the task so here we'll enter the description of the task and that is saved here and uh, the task is equal to task underscore also, we put in clicker, uh, I just, uh, this is a variable name, and st.button start sequence. So if we click on start sequence, the clicker will turn one, now, or true. So while true, we run a loop here. If clicker is true, so then we uh, accept what is written, uh, what has been written for assistant role and task. So this section of code, you know, using this section of code, we have automated, you know, we have created a web app for this. Next, uh, the changes that we have done is in the last part of the code, here, uh, when the code starts running, so the first output, so after putting in here, the first output that we'll get is the task at hand. So whatever task that you have given. So just let me write, uh, let me run it again and let me show you the output, uh, the type of output that you're going to see. So let me run this again. Terminal, new terminal, and run to agents final.py. So here it opens up. I'm going to copy the roles that we have already have here so that's a python programmer role here uh, the user role is stock trader and description is develop a trading bot for the stock market so here after get, uh, entering the assistant role the user role and the uh, you know description so we just start the sequence uh, we'll just have a look at the output sections also here so i'm just going to put it here and this grid so we start the sequence here so it has printed this python programmer so a specified task it has created an internal specified task i want this to be printed here so for i'm just going to stop this here so for printing this part of the you know output original task prompt and specified task form so original is the same as uh, this and specified is the internal changes that it has made to make it more efficient so here for displaying this original task prompt we have used this st.header so i've used the violet color for the original that's the, that's the violet color and task prompt and then we wrote down the task which is the task the task is developing a trading bot it's just same as that uh, copied from there now the specified task that it has created internally that is in the green color here and task prompt this is just a print here and uh, with the header style and then we write the specified task so this is a specified task so then the assistant runs so one by one it loops through the uh, loop you know about 30 times it loops for about 30 times and uh, the messages are sent back and forth so here if you see uh, if we print the user role name and what what output the user gives so we have printed this sc dot subheader we printed the subheader in the, in the style of subheader the name of the user role name and the name of the user which is uh, the stock trader in this example and whatever stock trader command uh, it it gave so we printed it out here Next, uh, the assistant, what is the name of that assistant? It's the Python programmer. And whatever output uh, it gave, we print it here. So let me run it again. So the next uh, should be your original task prompt, your specified task prompt, and then it should print out the name of the uh, user. It should print out the name of the user and then uh, the commands of the user, then the name of the assistant and command of the assistant. And it should loop it about 30 times or less if the goal is achieved. So let me run this again. Uh, terminal new terminal and final so we just open again now i'm going to paste the roles again so python programmer this is the name of the assistant this is the name of the stock trader and i develop a trading bot for the stock market this is the one now we start the sequence and let's wait for this so original task is this 
develop a trading bot for the stock market. Specified task is develop a trading bot that uses machine learning algorithms to predict stock market trends and make automated trades based on uh, live feed from multiple sources. Just going to wait uh, for the rest of the section. So the stock trader, which is the user name, it has given me this. It has given the instruction to the Python programmer. Instruction, install necessary Python libraries for machine learning and stock trading, and there is no additional inputs. Now, the Python programmer or the assistant uh, has to reply to that. So we're just gonna wait, okay. The Python programmer has replied, to install necessary Python libraries for machine learning and stock trading, we can use pip, the package installer for Python. Some of the libraries we may need to install are this, this, this libraries. So this is the command. To install these libraries, you can use the following commands. We have install as, as scikit-learn, so we install the libraries. Next, the stock trader asks, instructions, import the necessary libraries in a Python script. Input, none. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. So in this way, uh, it will go on, you know, asking commands and putting out the output. So Python programmer solution to import the necessary libraries in the Python script, we can use the import statement. So import pandas. So this is done. This is next request. So it is request, requested for the next request. Now it's the turn of the stock trader here. Let us wait for some time. Okay. Now connect to the Alpaca API using an API key. So this is the API key. If you don't have an account, you can sign up here. So next we are going to wait for the Python programmer. So this is in this way, you know, it goes back and forth. The user and the assistant goes back and forth to compile different uh, types of results, different types of outputs, you know, very innovative output. Write me a short story, for example. Uh, let me stop this and let me run something else. So I'm just going to stop this and let me run a different example so this is a fresh example so i'm just going to start this uh, with the help of streamlit run to agents final py so we just start this now i'm going to write a very you know short phrase for example assistant role uh, let's say phrase writer it's a very crude example user role is a uh, let's say critic and description is uh task is to write a simple sweet phrase on love maybe so just start the sequence let's see how this role-playing autonomous cooperative agents act so the original prompt was task is to write a simple sweet phrase on poem on love the specified task write a unique and captivating six-line phrase on the feeling of new found love incorporating at least three metaphors or smiles so next is critic critic has asked instruction write a phrase that capture the feeling of newfound love okay that is the user now the assistant that will give out the output let's see what output does it give let's wait for some time phrase writer solution love is a symphony that plays in the heart a kaleidoscope of colors that brightens my world and a gentle breeze that carries me to new heights this phrase captures the overwhelming and joyful feeling of newfound love through the use of musical visual and sensory metaphors next request okay the next request has come instruction incorporate a metaphor or smiles that capture that compares the feeling of new love found to a natural phenomenon okay don't quite understand but to a natural phenomenon okay let's see what um, the phrase writer output gives so in this way you can see you can do different sorts of experiments uh, to understand humans so you can do for example a professor and a, you know student for example or you can practice for viva bossy you can practice for interviews uh, using this tool so i will uh, attach all the links in the comment section uh, in, in the description section and uh, it will be great if you could write in the comment section what kind of you know pairs that we can include for example what kind of uh, assistant and user pairs that we can have if you can mention in the comment section then maybe we can try to run those pairs and uh, couple with the description of a task and as we know that after we give a simple task it is going to make a specific task and it's going to make a very smart project for you to work on uh, i've run uh, so many different experiments uh, on this and it's really interesting you know it is it's really interesting to see that it is better than chat gpt oh, it uses open api key but it is better in the sense that the role of uh, the user is also being done by the um, ai agent itself and believe me and i must say that the questions the level of questions that uh, the ai agent asks are far better than what i would have asked i'm better at giving it a goal at a high level goal but in order to complete the task how to break it into different sections that process is you know very well known by the uh, user the ai user itself so this is how the um, progress of this goes so again what we have done just summarizing it is that i have copied all these codes to the visual studio and then i have included a few uh, lines of codes 
to make it an app using the Streamlit uh, library and that makes it easier for it to display uh, here so that's a uh, this looks good in the next video I will you know try to explain all the concepts all the modules of uh, Langchain and uh, how we can create an app in Langchain and why it is so much easier you know if it is coupled with Streamlit because then we don't need to write any codes uh, sort of for you know displaying to HTML and you know, connecting to a database it's not required when you use Streamlit it's so much easy so I'm just waiting uh, for this to end but it should end somewhere uh, if it found a very good answer or if the number of iterations has reached 30 because we have specified uh, 30 here so that is uh, with this video um, if you have any questions please post your questions in the comment section i'll be happy to help so i, I know this video is a little haphazard but this is how you get started uh, you can get started with this tool uh, you know it is far better than chat gpt it's far better than auto gpt i would say and uh, i'm loving this so goodbye we'll see you next time